What is going on? Dustin here with Dustin's Customs, and I am excited to be back because it's been a minute. Uh, I finally got a welder. I bought a new one, and uh, I tried to fix my other one. My other one, I was like, maybe it's the little heat switch. I thought it was this piece, but it was not. So we bought another welder. We're going to start building that crazy makeshift turbo with uh, Dustin's Customs Fab, right? I don't have anything cool like McFarlane Fab, but anyways, I gotta get the car in the air because it's sitting on the car, and yes, it's on all UPR products, and it has some of that three-letter word on the back. I called them, and uh, yeah, we won't get into that, but we're gonna get some drop-down brackets pretty soon for the rear axle. Anyways, today, let's go ahead and finish welding the hot side of that turbo. I've been waiting three months, and you probably don't care anymore, but I care. I care. And I'm jamming out to some music with my crazy stereo. I don't know if I've showed you guys my stereo, but it's pretty baller. Got to hang those. And then I got some of those up there with some of those. So I'm going to be rocking out. You guys won't hear that. I got some sound blankets for up there if you guys are wondering. But none of this matters. Who gives up? And yeah, got to jack the car up. So I'm going to do that now. Not going to show you guys because... How many times can I show? Maybe I should make a montage. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to press play on my thing and, uh... forward this is just one point oh, I'm sure I'll redo it again sometime but uh, where's that other pipe somewhere there it is I gotta weld this pipe to that I have it marked uh, I was gonna v-band this piece but I think I can get away with doing it one piece and that just eliminates some leaks hopefully I don't screw myself by just welding this on Okay, so it feels good that I actually got some welding done. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the pipe. Um, all it does is loop it around from the exhaust back to the front of the car. Pretty simple setup. So that's where it comes from the down tubes. You fall it up, kind of kinks there. I was gonna put a flex there. And then it just goes up like that. And um, that's pretty much it. You get a, a long view of it, there it is. That's it. So now all I have to do is mount it back on the car, um, mount this piece. I'll show you the rest of it real quick. If you're new to the channel, this is what's going on. So then it mounts to this piece right here. It V-bands, this goes up. Oh shit. I guess I didn't have that attached. I painted the housing. So that goes on like so, and then uh, we'll figure out the exhaust. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on real quick and we'll go from there. I got the turbo back in, pipe goes down, whatever. I'll show you underneath. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right, you've all seen this before. Sorry for the shadows. So, downpipe U's over to here, downpipe U's over to here, up, V band there. It'll be up a little higher. It's heavy, so I can't lift it right now, but I'm gonna have a brace from there to there holding it up. So it'll be up close. Right there, be pretty close. Right now, I gotta figure out wastegate placement. <clears throat> I am uh, not sure. I gotta figure that out. So, okay. So I decided to work on the ex exhaust downpipe instead of uh, the wastegate because I kind of need to see where these pipes are gonna go. Um, this is a reducer to two and a half. The servo is gonna have to work until. Uh, we buy an on three kit pretty much. I don't even know if it's gonna work, but this should actually, in theory, I could be wrong, let me know in the comments. Reducing this down to this cone right here. Bet you've never seen that before. That's some redneck engineering. Uh, should make it spool faster because of the back pressure. I'm not sure. We'll find out. All right, folks, so I pretty much just wanted to test out my welder. I know this turbo is kind of ghetto with the reducer and all that. I'm going to go start looking for turbos online. Um, I really just wanted to start the car and see if it made boost before I bought a turbo because I'm probably going to buy an on three turbo kit. And all this is probably waste anyways, but I'm going to keep myself busy until that day happens, which probably won't be till later on, maybe next year. But the car is set up with a tubular K member from UPR, Strange Engineering, blah, blah, blah. It's all ready to go. This is what I got. Let me know what you think. Um, it's kind of ghetto, but you know, it's uh, some Dustin's Customs. I wish I could say it's inspired by McFarlane Fabrication. That's exactly what it is. Inspired by McFarlane Fabrication. There they go running seven second passes with a little better setup than this. But um, I don't know if it's gonna work. Go ahead and check out. I got a little bit of a downpipe welded up. Got to figure out where that wastegate's gonna go. And then we'll probably got to just replace it all anyways but keep myself busy got the new welder pretty psyched uh, I'll show you that and uh, here let me show you real quick okay so this is the contraption turbo's a little crooked it'll raise up a little there we go now it's straight just gotta bracket it up and um, so there's the downpipe kinda gotta figure out somewhere for it to go this reducer I am not sure about we'll have to put this somewhere you can get one for a crown Vic I saw I talked to a dude and he put it right there fits perfect so that's probably what we'll do is put the crown Vic there battery in the trunk and turbo we will uh, put oil through it soon I got some fittings coming for the oil uh, feed and return I got the feed I just need to do the return the AN fittings already welded so I painted this black. I got no light over here. I know Turbo is temporary to see if it's gonna work and then yes, I'll have to refab a downpipe But everything else should be all right for the fab see if it builds boost um, The turbo works and, and if I'm, I make 350 horsepower with this setup before I forge the motor which I do have forged internals for the motor I'll be happy not I mean It'll be good stuff. So we'll see. I'm gonna try this out, keep working on this, get this to spool and make boost. Gotta get intercooling piping next. That'll probably be next week. And route the intercooling piping, see how that's gonna work. Finish the downpipe, route the intercooling pipe. Um, get it to run super fucking rich and go from there. So still need injectors, fuel pump, stuff like that, but closer. All right, guys, I'm Dustin. This has been Dustin's Customs with my McFarlane Fabrication Inspire Turbo Kit. It's set up for an on three. I got all the suspension for it. So that'll be later down the road. I've actually been thinking about superchargers lately. I don't know. Let's see if this works. Let's actually complete something, see if it works, then we'll move on. So if you haven't, Leave a comment, like, and subscribe if you feel like it. It'd be cool. Definitely subscribe. I'm so close to a thousand. It would be awesome to get there. Um, I got a lot of 
nice parts on this car and I've done a lot of videos on installing these parts. So check those out and I'll see you later. Bye.